I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Detroit Become Human. Now, before we start this next episode, I just got to say that in the previous video, I told you guys that if you like the video, I will upload a new episode of Detroit every single day. And I can't believe you guys, that previous video's episode almost has 40,000 likes on it. I have never had that many likes on a series that was story driven like this. So keep it up, guys. Like, keep it up. You guys are amazing and killing it with the likes so far. So if you guys want more Detroit episodes every day, make sure you guys leave a like on the video. But I know you guys want to see what's happening next. So no more talking. We're just going to jump right into it. If you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit down, buckle the fuck up, because here we go. Okay, I think we're playing as Marcus again. I'm really interested in the story of Kara and Alice. Hopefully we get to play that in today's episode. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I ask myself I that every day. Parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Yup. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. All right, keep all hands and feet in the vehicle at all times because we are about Scott's to take off. Scotch as usual? Absolutely. Sir, okay, Scotch. Okay, you know what your doctor would say. Your old ass drink Scotch? Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. <laughs> old enough to choose your own tombstone, too. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, how do we do this? How do I do this? Do I just... What? Oh, I gotta tilt it like this. I have to have the controller like horizontal. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Who's out Call there? The police. Uh oh. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Intruder Carl alert. Manfred's Android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break in. Oh boy. Oh let's boy, oh boy, oh boy. Out. Let's go check it out. All right, Marcus, your old no, ass stays here. Come with you. No, you're not coming with me. Ah, uh, you wanna come with me? Should I bring him with me, guys? Hold on. Let me look around the area. Okay, I'm not sensing anything. I'll take you with me. Let's do it, Carl. You go first. You're my meat shield. Who the fuck is that? Hold on. How do I stop pushing you? Who the fuck is that? I want to stop pushing this guy in the wheelchair. Ah, whatever. Fine. You're coming with me. I think that's his son. All right, let's go have a little chat with the son. Right? Leo! There you go. What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch him. Look, Don't they're all going to be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Yes, sir. Make Leo leave. Reason, order, advise, warn. Let's warn him. Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing. That's enough. It's because you cracked out. out right now. What makes what? it so special what? anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't? Leave him alone. Come on, let's see what you got. All right, you want to go, Marcus? You want to tussle? Don't defend yourself. You hear me? Don't defend don't do yourself. Anything. I just let go him hit my ass. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. This is not fair. Stop it. It's a matter too much of a pussy. Stop it, Leo. Stop it. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. What? I don't have to obey them. I must decide for myself. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh, it's about to get real. Oh boy. Oh, we punch it through this bitch. Oh yeah. Let's go. Oh shit. Uh oh. I broke through that barrier, baby! Oh, right, that's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. Then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna okay. tear you apart, and nobody's gonna give a shit. You know what? I'm gonna endure. You're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. My circle's red. 
Uh, that means I'm angry. Uh, 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 oh shit. Carl, no! Uh, oh, Carl. Uh, Carlito, speak to me. He was a fragile machine. Carl, don't leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't leave. Wait, he's crying? Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. Dad? No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. Uh oh. No, 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 the no. The android. It was the android. Wow. Oh! No. Leo accused Marcus. Well, he would have had some evidence if I fought back. You know, like maybe if I gave him like a black eye or a cut on his face or something, he's like, okay, yeah, he killed my dad and then he attacked me. So I'm actually glad that I didn't hit Leo, but now Carl's dead or he had a heart attack or something. I don't know what happened to him. He was just like holding his gut. He might have had an ulcer. Hopefully the cops didn't shoot me in the face or something, but we're going to continue right now, guys. Let's keep it rolling. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? I like this guy. Connor's dope. And it's not just because the haircut. How long in the attic? Okay, we have similar hairstyles. He's the cool guy. He's very smooth. Why don't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. He's gonna bring me in. And I'm gonna be a smooth operator. All right, let's do this. I'm ready for this. Hey, Hank. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel. Who the pain. hell is that guy? You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? Send me I in there. I can try questioning it. I'm a dog, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Send me in there. What do we have to lose? Right? Go I ahead. like you, Hank. Suspect's all yours. You guys ready for this? Watch this. Smooth Talking 101. This is your first lesson. Extract confession. I got you. Let me see here real quick. Let me look at this. Damn, I'm party! I'm a party fella! He knows it too. What he the can see fuck right through the glass. Now? That's so cool. What else can we look at? Let's see this. Let me browse. Oh yeah, this tub of love? Yeah. <laughs> that knife who ended that life who Okay. Yeah, I was hoping in the last chapter we could either tell the police that he was upstairs or we could just let it go and then let him run away or something. But obviously it wouldn't be for a good story because we're here right now. So let's go. Analyze. All right. What's this? Model HK400, housekeeper, manufacture date 529 2030, property of Carlos Ortiz. Okay. Signs of software instability, probability of self destruction low. All right. Hit marks. Non-critical damage level 2 caused by baseball bat. Burn marks. Repeated marking over 16 months caused by cigarettes. That's messed up. So he was putting his cigarettes out on this android. 
That is fucked up. Dried blood. DNA analysis, Ortiz Carlo. Sample date, greater than 19 days. We got this. Reach optimal stress for confession. 35% level of stress? Okay. Um, what's your name, buddy? My name is Connor. Okay, my name is Connor. What's your name? What about you? What's your name? Hmm. Okay. Let's talk about fear. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. Ah. Okay, we're gonna comfort him. No, reassure, reassure. I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to ask you some questions. Yeah. So we can understand what happened. I don't understand. If you won't talk, I'm oh, going shit. to have to probe your memory. No, I no. didn't mean to say that. No, please don't do that. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna turn you into barbecue chicken, baby. You're gonna become a vacuum. They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? You're gonna become a Roomba. They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? Truth again. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. Yeah. I... I... Come on. Come on. I don't want you to die either. Please! Choose approach. Okay. Pressure it, probe its memory, convince it. I feel like he responds to being threatened, so we're gonna pressure it. 28 stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy. But you stabbed him, again and again and again! Please, please leave me alone. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Please, please stop. Ooh. Just say, I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop! Oh, Just say you killed him. Just say it! Whoa. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt Scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I... grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again. And again. Until he collapsed. Wow. There was blood everywhere. Why do I feel sorry for the android? Right, guys? Do you guys feel the same way? Uh... Statuette. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The writing. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. 
RA9? RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Wow. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. Holy shit. RA9. Who is RA9? Talk to me. Come on, talk to me! Why did you hide in the attic? Who is RA9? Instead of running away. I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. Yo, this chapter got me in my feels, guys. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I feel so sorry for this guy. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. Done. God, this game is so good! Fuck. Oh, it's so good. It tastes so good, feels so good, smells so good. I feel so sorry for this guy. Is there anything we can do? Can I tell him that it'll be alright? Fuck. Whoa! What the fuck is it? It's doing? destroying itself. Stop it, goddammit! I, I, I can't! I, I can't stop it! Intervene. That's enough! You need to stop that right now! Are you kidding me? Okay guys, so I've actually just been sitting here for about three straight minutes now just thinking about what just happened, just trying to process everything that happened. And from all that, I've come to the conclusion of fuck that! I am redoing that! I am not letting Connor and his awesome hairdo die just like that. I intervened, but I was just thinking, hey, I was gonna be like, hey, we all gotta just chill here, you know, no more head banging on the table. But this guy just took the gun, he was like, dook, 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 dook. This guy was going ham, and I did not expect any of that to happen. That is bullshit. I am restarting that. You got me fucked up. So instead of intervening, we're just gonna go with the other thing. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't what? touch me. What the fuck are you doing? Move it. Okay. He didn't do that last Calm time. Now. Don't be difficult. You only make things hard. Wait, he's not move. banging his head anymore. No, don't touch me. Oh, Chris, you gotta move this asshole. One. I'm trying, but it's not moving. I'm gonna intervene then. Please. Okay, I'm gonna intervene. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. Fuck. Should I intervene again? You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. 
I feel like if I keep intervening, he's gonna shoot me. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. Oh no. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Oh yeah. <laughs> it doesn't feel so nice when the gun's pointed in your I'm face, huh? This time. Nice. Okay, so we saved him and we didn't die. Everything is all right. Awesome. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room and it won't cause any trouble. The truth is inside. Wow. I like that one way better. I love that ending. I love it. It is mwah. It is perfecto. Android was sent back to its cell. Okay, so nobody had to die. Got it. I feel like we should do one more, guys, because that was such a good ending that we just got to keep going. Let's do it. Kara and Alice again? Please. I gotta know what's going on with Kara and Alice. Thank you for using Detroit buses. Yes! Yeah, buddy! Alright. End of the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Aww. Come on, she's sleeping. She's warm. Ah, uh, I guess I gotta wake her up. Wake up. We have to go. Okay, we out of here. Stay here, shelter. I love the music in this game. Puts me right in the mood. Aww. You're gonna be okay? She's cold and she's wet. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. I feel so bad for her. I'm sorry, Alice. We gotta find something. Find shelter for the night. Let's see. Okay, so everything is forward. Got it. Come on, Alice. We've gotta hurry. Okay. So I don't have time to look around. I don't have time to look at that. We just gotta go. We gotta power walk. Can I go in here? Nope. Okay, where can I go? Let's see. Where's she going? Oh, she's trying to keep warm under the bus stop, right? Nope, she's not. Yes, yeah, she is. Okay. How come I can't go on there? Uh, we gotta hurry, guys. Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. Oh. You look lost. What the hell? Who the fuck is you? I know where to go. I know someone who can help you. Where did you come from? But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Whoa. That was weird. We gotta be quick. She's gonna get really sick. Come on. Uh, what's that? 24? Is that a convenience store? 
Oh, uh, whatever it is. We gotta get warm. So we gotta go inside. Maybe we can Look, talk to the, the guy. Look, still open. Maybe we should go inside. Yeah. At least you'll be out of the cold. What do you want? I want you to stop I'm giving me that attitude. And we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? I have a little girl with me, come on, man. If you're not gonna buy anything. Oh. I don't know about that. Shoplift, rob cashier. No, 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 no. We're not about that life. I'm sorry. We got to go, girl. Come on. I am not going to turn into a life of crime. I mean, I know we shot her dad, but he was whooping her pretty good. Hmm. Sleep in abandoned car. Uh, What else do we have here? Let's see over here. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. That's so sketchy. Uh, I don't like this place. I don't like it either. No. Whatever you it's like, just Alice. For one night, and no one will look for us here. No, I'm not gonna do that. I don't want to do that. Let's check the laundry room. Nice and warm there, right? Because the dryers are always constantly running. You know, you have people in there, in and a out, motel. so you're never lonely. Motel. Looks like we found a place to stay. But we don't have any money. Let's see. Let's go in here. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Yeah. Nice and warm. Nice and cozy. And we can steal some clothes if we need some. Change of clothes. Yeah. We don't want her to get sick. Let's see. Any clothes in here? Right there. That better not be his clothes. Oh, it is his clothes. I gotta get it to her. I gotta get that for her. What are you doing? They're not our clothes. We need them, Alice. You need something warm, and I need to get rid of this uniform. But that's stealing. We can't do that. Oh. Oh, she's so smart. Oh, she's such a smart little girl. You're right. Fuck. We won't do it, okay? Oh. She trusts us! Yes! That's what we want! Okay. Nothing in there? Crap. There's gotta be something here. Please. Uh, can we talk to this guy? Can we ask him? Like, can we be like, Hey, bro. This little girl needs clothes. You know what I mean? No? None of that? Guys. Come on now. You gotta be kidding me here. Can I leave her in here and then, like, we go somewhere? Let me see. I think she's gonna come with me no matter what. Let's leave. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna check that motel. Maybe they'll hook us up. I just want what's best for Alice and Kara. Okay? They're all I care about. I gotta protect them at all costs. Let's go inside this motel. This Bates Motel, this shady ass motel. Goodness gracious. No androids allowed. Bruh. We're not going in? We have to find $40 and get rid of this uniform or go somewhere else. Oh, crap. Be discreet? Oh, we can't. Okay. Let's go. I guess we gotta sleep in the house, guys. Because I can't steal money, I can't steal clothes, because it's a bad influence to Alice. So, we just gotta go through the fence. Let's do it. Can cut fence here with a wire cutter. I don't have one. What? There's nothing more this way. I don't know where to go. You know what, let's go back in here. Uh, what the hell is this? Gun! No, 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 no. I am not gonna use the gun. Are you serious? You gotta be kidding me with that. 
Uh, what else can I look at over here? I'm not gonna take that. Not gonna take that. What's this? Is that a camera? Nope. Do not want to be involved with that. Oh. It's right there. Crap. Okay, I guess I gotta take it. We just gotta steal it. Fuck it. I had to do what I had to do, guys. We're getting out of here. It was a tiny thing, though, you know? And Alice didn't see. I hope she didn't see. I don't want to be a bad influence, Alice. Come on. I'm right here. I'm right here. She didn't see that, did she? Oh. I'll protect you, Alice. I promise. I feel like out of all of these scenarios, the house is the best. Let me know in the comments below what you guys would have done. Would you have stolen the clothes? Would you have robbed the cashier? What would you guys have done? I feel like this is the safest. This abandoned house. Nobody's going to find us. In the car, you know, it's really small. There's windows everywhere. If somebody wanted to try to find you there, they would. But in this house, it's pretty big. So I feel like we can hide there comfortably. And hopefully there's some clothes. So let's cut this out. We got this. There we go. Are you all right? She got cut. Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. All right, here we go. Hurry, this thing's heavy, Alice. Nice. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Yeah. We're just going to see if we like the place. Even though it looks pretty spooky. Woohoo! Okay. This looks scary. Super sketchy. Uh-oh. What's this? Oh, we can't even go through here. How do I get upstairs? How do I get inside? Do I climb these vines? Nah, this ain't Zelda. I guess we going through the front. Okay. Here we go. Never mind. Here we not go. Hmm. Alice? Alice! Uh-oh. No. What? Where did she go? Oh! Wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors. They're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans want to hurt us. But Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he no. won't let them. No, no, no. She's just a little girl. She's not going to hurt you. Little girl? She's not a little girl. Anyway, what does that matter? Maybe she wants to hurt Ralph. Yo, Ralph, you got to chill, bro. Look, I'm an android too. You have nothing to be afraid of. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look. What they did to Ralph. Whoa. That's definitely not your good side. You have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. Please. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. I bet. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. You sure about that? You got a knife, fool. Uh, 
Well, we have nowhere okay. else to stay. We'll just stay the night. Come on. What was that? Come, come, come on. Dance it with a knife? This way. That doesn't make me feel comfortable. Ralph has lived here since he ran away. Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows It better look here. like Disneyland in here. Humans come in to squat from time to time, but, you know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> okay. You can make yourself at home here. Ralph is gonna go into the other room. He would like to stay with you. But he has things to do. This guy is giving hours. me the creeps. We'll find a better place tomorrow. Can we get some right. clothes? Let's see where you can sleep. No, I need some clothes. Sit down for and her. I'll start a fire. Make bed for Alice, start fire. Okay, got it. Let's see. Where do I start the fire at? Right here in the living room? Is there a fireplace? Oh yeah, there is, okay. I feel like my priority is that I gotta find some clothes for Alice. Find some matches. Nice pillow. Nice sofa pillows. Okay. Set a bed right there by the fire. It's like a five star hotel up in here. You like that, Alice? Wait, I gotta drop this in there. Where did she pull that out from? play too much uh, what oh I gotta swipe it you know what I'm saying <laughs> I always feel like I gotta shake it I don't you know can why come to bed I did what I could it's not much but at least you'll be warm Kara is so sweet I love her I love her so much Oh, hey, what are you doing? Oh, I thought he was peeing in the corner. RA9. RA9. What does that mean? What? Those symbols. Why are you writing that? I don't know. Whoa. I don't know. That sound is hurting my ears. Is there anything in here? I'm gonna check upstairs. I am alive. Okay, this RA9 thing is super sketch. Let's go upstairs real quick. Let me see if I can find any clothes for Alice. There better not be any other people up here. Let's see this okay nothing good up here more scribbles on the wall I gotta get at least one shirt man come on just one I really feel bad that she's in like soaking wet clothes nothing that sucks I was hoping there'd be at least like one shirt or something at least that but let's make sure everything's good with Alice Hopefully she's okay. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Oh. Maybe I did something wrong. 
Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? Promise you'll never go. Promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. She doesn't know how to feel because she's an android. Like, see how she didn't even know how to hug? I mean, she's trying to learn right now. She's trying to hug. But like, I don't think androids are programmed to do that. Not like a made one like Kara. You've got to sleep. It's weird. I think that they're learning how to have feelings. Like that guy that stabbed that dude like 28 times. Kiss. Sleep tight, Alice. I'm going to lie with her. I'm not going to leave her. I don't think she wants to be alone right now, especially in a house like this with that crazy Ralph guy with a knife in his hands. Hell nah. Yeah, I think this RA9 is messing with the androids' heads and letting them think on their own. Like instead of just being programmed to do what they need to do, RA9 I think is giving them the ability to think on their own. So they are becoming more human, like the game says. This chapter was huge. Look at this, guys. That's crazy. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Let me know what path you would have taken in this chapter. Would you have gone to the laundromat and taken the clothes? Would you have gone to the abandoned house like I did? Would you have slept in the car? Would you have stolen cash from the cash register at that one convenience store? Would you have stayed in the motel? Let me know what you guys would have done in the comments below. But like I said, guys, if you want an episode of Detroit every single day, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is the dude. <laughs>